we've discovered that there is a whole um, basket of foods that actually uh, might be useful for starving cancer. The ones that you might expect, the leafy, dark leafy green vegetables, the brassicas, the broccoli, the, bro the Brussels sprouts, the kale, we not only know that they can actually reduce the risk of cancer, we actually know exactly what molecules that inhibit angiogenesis or starve cancer that they contain. There are other foods as well. We know that fruits, vegetables, citrus, berries can all be very active. Tomatoes can be active. We know that bananas even contain anti-angiogenic cancer-fighting substances. And the list goes on, not just with fruits and vegetables, which is kind of the common sense um, uh, list, but we're also finding that dark meat chicken, that certain types of hard cheeses, that fish and shellfish, including octopus, squid, even squid ink, all contain natural inhibitors of angiogenesis that are correlated with lower cancer risk in people who eat these foods. All you have to do is go to the so-called blue zones. These are places around the world where people commonly live to greater than 100 years old. And you can find that these are the people that are eating these types of foods. Now another dimension of our research is not just looking at the food. Everybody knows that um, strawberries are good for you. We're actually studying what kind of strawberries are best. We're looking at the comparative effectiveness of foods. And we're also studying dose. So when you say what type of food we should be eating, I'd like to be able to tell you as a doctor, what is the dose you should be eating? How much and how often? And this is what we're actually starting to be able to do.